Hey y'all, welcome into the channel. I hope everyone's having a day, good day. You guys come on here and get this message. Okay, look, got some messages for you, whoever you are. Ooh, I see you breaking free at the bottom of the deck. Look at you. Okay, I see you. Okay. <laughs> Letting go of that old paradigm. All right, trying to get it loose. That's good. This is spiritual maturation here, okay? This is spiritual growth here. This is going to be really, really beneficial to you, your highest and greatest good, and your purpose, okay? Welcome into the channel if you are new, and welcome back if you're returning. I love each and every one of you guys. So, this has to do with, oh, first of all, Source told me to ask you, how is your move going? Um, secondly, Source says, are you enjoying your travels? And third, Source says, be sure to quench your thirst. Okay, there is a need for you to stay hydrated at this time. I don't know if you are relocating or you're in the middle of traveling, okay? Um, but Source is saying whatever it is, and this could be physical travel. This could be like you're on vacation. Um, it's, it's still, well, no, the kids are back in school now, so it's not summer anymore. Um, but I feel like maybe you're doing some business travel. You could be traveling for work, okay? Source is asking you at this time to stay hydrated. There's something that's about to occur. You could have recently experienced some type of separation or like isolation or just a time where you can tell that source wanted your undivided attention okay so now that he has it there's something that's going to be going on oh my in oh, mm -mm -mm -mm. solitude i can't make it up at all i cannot i cannot i won't either i will not try who is this who are we connecting with what zodiac is this that just made me smile <laughs> y'all <laughs> Anyway, there's a, a need for this to occur because Source is going to be upgrading your spiritual ears, okay? Um, there's going to be an unlocking in the spirit, an unlocking in the spirit of your spiritual hearing, okay? Um, show me clearly, angels, ancestors of the highest white light, most high. What do we got going on? What zodiac is connecting with this reading? Okay, the Scorpio. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, the Scorpio. Now, Scorpio... I need to see. Hold up. I just got to make sure I haven't done you. I haven't done you. I only done two of you. No three of you guys. Let's see. Aries, Gemini, Virgo. Okay. Something could be going significant about those signs in your reading. Okay. So Scorpio. That is so befitting of you. I guess that's why I'm picking up all those changes. So typically technically this could be any sign okay it doesn't have to be scorpio so welcome in whoever you are in here watching this okay we're in the energy of the eight you guys have been seeing eights all day the reading i spoke about earlier that i attached to this morning's reading which technically for you this will be yesterday's good morning message in the shorts um there's a video attached there and eights were significant in the reading that's attached to that good morning message um, I usually don't attach readings to the good morning shorts uh, but I was moved to today you'll be getting this tomorrow which is your today our today anyway take it as it resonates something significant significant about time okay um, as I got out of the bathtub today okay temperance energy at the bottom of the day Sagittarius could be significant or the energy just of ancestors or being patient okay i feel patience here be patient with this process okay whatever it is that's going on um i feel like this spiritual upgrade be be patient with that be patient with your move be patient with any travels i feel an energy of delays be patient okay whatever this is there could also be something that maybe was on delay my nose is itching there was something that was on delay and now it's like it's going to be coming in. Okay, six of cups. All right, something from the past. All right, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so basically your spiritual ears are unlocking. I feel like this is past life hearing, like um, past life abilities. Like, okay, you've been hearing in the spirit, um, maybe because of who you are. You can uh, hear the... Um, you know angels voices or you hear your ancestors voices or you hear however you hear some of you don't necessarily hear and maybe that's what's going to be changing for you is that your ears are about to be turned on okay um in my case i hear already and so when i received this message source gave it to me like nah your, your hearing is about to be upgraded okay like you thought you was hearing but you have no idea okay like that <laughs> like you're about to hear on another level okay so um 
source you know pulled you away from whatever it was maybe you were working on a project and there's a delay for whatever reason just accept that delay as source needs your attention right now because there's there's something he's trying to um increase in your life is what i'm hearing okay something about a manifestation i'm hearing guidance report Okay, I'm hearing digital log. So, so I said something's going on with time. Now I'm hearing something about a digital log. Okay, a digital log. A time log. But a digital one. Pay attention to your numbers at this time. Angel numbers. Okay, they're going to be giving you a lot of guidance through angel numbers at this time. So basically I have written here, your spiritual hearing is all the way turned up. There's two sides to this. So there's those that um, could already hear, and this is you evolving. And then there's those that can't hear that are about to begin to hear. Okay. Um, this applies for all, whether you're a healer, a teacher, a medium, or just a regular Joe Blow. Okay. Or Joe or Glow, whatever your name is. All right. Whoever you are. <laughs> It doesn't matter, okay? You don't have to be like any type of um, spiritual work uh, to begin to hear. Something's going to go on where we all of a sudden just going to hear, okay? So be prepared. Um, know you're not going crazy. Um, know you're not just hearing things. Although, yes, you are hearing things. Anyway, take it as a resonance. So what your body and spirit is asking for is eternal rest, okay? Eternal rest, not death. No, 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 not not that everlasting, not not that night-night, not that kind of sleep. Um, but the kind of sleep is that hermit energy, that, that time where you're in quiet, um, where you are in solitude, which that's the overall energy here. Solitude, hermit, sage energy, because you're going in, it's, it's the energy of... For those of you that don't know and you're not sure, like the best way to hear in the spirit is turn your devices off. OK, take like a uh, they're saying a spiritual hiatus. OK, my hand is itching. OK, take a spiritual hiatus and just dis like disappear from everything and everyone if you can. And what you can't, you know, ask God to let it work for you in your time of um, transformation. OK, sources asking you at this time as well to be open to transformation. OK, um, there could be some fears there. If there are, please release any fears. Okay, There's, This is nothing to fear. OK, six of swords. This is going to be evolving you in a way where you're going to um, be at peace. OK, so six of swords here you're moving away from what 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 was not working for you or what was working against you okay so don't fear this new space that you are um, um, gonna be opening up to okay I feel a need to be vulnerable all right um, in that space when you're in hermit energy in sage energy um, when you are in the energy of the hermit card because I feel the hermit okay um, but when you're in that time um, there's going to be some secrets, okay, um, that are going to come out. So, like I said, the way you do that, you disconnect. Disconnect from social media. Disconnect from people. Um, as much as you can. I know we have families and we got to go to work and we got to go do this. That I know that. But, like, the extra, like, you got to be willing to set that time apart. If you truly, truly um, are ready to be open to this level of hearing, there's a need for you to set, even if it's 30 minutes, 20 minutes hell okay get what you can in that time of just quiet inner quiet quieting your mind quieting your spirit quieting your household quiet even if you got to tell your kids like look we gonna practice um a few minutes of quiet time kids okay because they also need to learn um to uh humble themselves before you know um the divine and if you know the best way to do that is they learn by you so lead by example um is what i'm hearing in this moment um so it's a good learning or uh teaching teachable moment for your children um to be obedient to the lord um or to be obedient to your divine source or higher power whoever you deem to be your creator okay This right here, it'll allow, allow you to detach, okay? Um, disconnecting, it'll actually allow you to detach from uh, chatter, from opinions, from words, from projections, okay? And actually 
be in your own energy like this mermaid she's in her own energy but she's under the uh the grace the light the mercy okay of the divine all right and it, you could even be in the dark there may be a need for you to just light a candle and just be in the dark okay or to just go out in the dark okay you may need to get near some water if you can okay or at least meditate on the energy of water okay for me you guys i'm all about my spiritual baths like you guys for me on this journey a spiritual bath and the time um needed it's like it goes hand in hand i gotta wash my ass and i need to talk to god so i do them at the same time i'm just saying it's, it works for me um i, I make sure because i know i'm gonna wash my tail every day sometimes twice a day you know what i'm saying so it's like i make sh actually all the time twice a day what am i talking about sometimes yeah i take a bath every day twice a day okay um but anyway in one of the day in one of the days in one of the baths it's a time where I make sure I'm I'm having that intimate time with the divine. Okay, um, it's requested. You're requested. Your presence is requested. Okay, what else do I have written down here? So at this time, if you do like, if you if you can't all the way separate, you know what I mean, yourself, um, or be by yourself, um, maybe that alone time is not, you know, it comes at a price for you. Um, if it's if that's the case, then source is saying to um, observe at this time, but do not observe absorb. Okay, there's a need for you as empaths, um, and if you're here, you're definitely empathic, and so there's a need for you to observe but don't absorb okay um stay away all right um something significant oh they said at least you can your devices some of you guys you can at least you know take that time away from your devices you guys wouldn't believe the amount and some of you know this uh, but the amount of darkness that's on devices okay um and how it's an attachment if like y'all these energies and this stuff and the way these it's more than just a cell phone in your hand um it's a lot of energy in that mug but it's and i'm not talking about the power and electricity but i'm talking about energies um that can connect attach uh root themselves okay so there's someone here i don't know who you are but you need to kind of you need to there's a detox like i don't know if someone is attached to their phone um and if that's for you viewer this is messages for you there's a need for you to separate um start to like slowly you know this is like somebody has a habit even if you're a smoker because i'm picking that up someone could be a cigarette smoker if you smoke a lot of cigarettes the source is asking for you to kind of separate yourself a little bit do it in increments you know what i mean if you can't cold turkey that thing doing it in increments you know what i'm saying um instead of smoking 10 a day smoke nine you know what i mean go down to seven you know what i mean T you know test yourself um it's something like that but it's like you need to do that with the devices with technology at this time um source gave me these time increments that i wrote down so they said try to do your devices or even vices because i have vices here so whatever your vice is try to back up off of that thing okay try try to do it for eight hours if you can't go that strong do it for four and if you can't go that long go for two okay um they said uh do this daily for the next seven to five or three days they also told me once i wrote those hours in increments down of time and dates wow and here i am coming on the reading talking about something significant about time and they said digital whatever it was i'm gonna have to re rewind the reading but anyway um it says significant events will occur on these days or time frames listed so something's about to occur in the next eight hours of you viewing this video something's gonna occur in four hours something's gonna occur in two hours okay um, something's going to occur in seven days something significant is gonna occur in five days and something significant is gonna occur in three days okay now Scorpio I gave you the I feel like I gave you the uh, <laughs> y'all know how they do in church they give y'all they read the, the program not the program but they read the um mm -hmm, all the in, in, information all the news okay uh they read the cards they read all that i don't know y'all you just take it as it resonates but ace of swords everything i read you was the truth okay um this is what what source is calling for at this time i'm hearing roll call take it as it resonates six of pentacles okay um do you want okay yes mm -hmm. they said yes hold up let me see though how much of that i can tell you because there was a meditation 
of course, this evening I meditated. And there's been like, um, well, I'm just going to say the energy of judgment. Okay, so you, you are about to receive some type of justice, Scorpio. Okay, some type of equality. All right, justice, like equal give and take. Um, this is something that you deserve. For Scorpio, Holy Angels, Holy Spirit, show me clearly what it is going on that I need to tell from, uh, Scorpio. Other than what I just told them. Okay, Knight of Disc, Page of Cups, The Emperor. You're about to receive a surprise um, offer, okay? Um, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like your ancestors are uh, are are singing. They're they're representing or they're showing up. They're they're exposing they're exposing something here. Okay, Page of Cups. You secretly like they've even done this behind your back. I feel. Okay, um, but then I also feel like that energy of in private, okay, um, the emperor energy, this is like in private, they want to talk to you, source is like, come sit down, okay, you could be listening to a lot of music, uh, drum, drum music, okay, they're telling me Shango energy, okay, this is Shango here, with this sword, this is Shango energy, straight up. The God of Thunder. And he is dropping down scissors. Okay, there's scissors being... When you, If you guys start to see a lot of scissors, y'all gonna know I'm telling the truth here, okay? That's how he told me. That's how he gave it to me. The scissors, they are cutting away cords, okay? Um, they're cutting away cords. They're cutting away attachments. They're cutting away. There's a cutting away. They're, it's a freeing. This is the freeing energy. This is why you're free. You're forgiven. You've been shown mercy here. It's like they came by and, and checked you out and you had the blood, the covering. The covering was there, Scorpio. The blood. You're covered. You're covered by the blood. Okay. Give me one second. That showed itself to me. One minute. And I just spoke about that card in one of the other readings. So Gemini or who were the people I listed? Scorpio in the beginning? Because somebody here is significant. The way that just showed up and i believe it's gemini oh yeah okay so these swords this is giving me like the nine of swords energy like there's gonna be people that they're good they're in they're gonna regret whatever they did because they're being judged okay king of cups yeah they're gonna be sorry or apologetic okay there could be a masculine energy that is apologetic somebody's about to tell you like something scorpio you're about to find out some truth here this is some massive truth Okay, I feel like in this, also in this um, time of solitude, okay, you're going to be hearing massive truths, okay? Um, your spiritual ear evolution or evolvement or ascent, like you ascending, you're going to be hearing some massive truths. Five of Cups, Scorpio, I don't like it. I feel like somebody wants to apologize to you for causing you Five of Wands. Somebody caused you some conflict here, Scorpio. And they want to apologize. I don't get a bad vibe from their apology, honestly. I do feel like whoever's about to apologize to you, I feel like they mean it. Four of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. This has to do with a Virgo. Where someone with Earth in their chart. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Because the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles are coming out. I get an energy... Someone's someone's gonna 
someone's either claiming their independence or holding on to their independence here. This is pre-emperor, pre-empress energy. Oh my God, I'm hearing that song, I will wait for you. Somebody feels like they will wait for you, Ten of Cups, okay? Someone's single and they're like, I will wait for you. It's a mixed, that's a little bit of your love situation, Scorpio. And then there's a little bit of what's going to happen. So this truth, you're going to hear like some massive truths. You're going to hear some truths that you're not, you, that are going to make you sad. Something's going to, it's going to, it's like, you're going to hear someone try to like hold on to you or hold something against you. And they're a re they're like a they're re there's a sadness here. Someone held back from you as well. Someone, oh my goodness. There's someone in your energy, Scorpio, that hates that they lost you or lost. I feel like they lost you. Someone's like. I fucked up. There's a I fucked up energy here. They gonna tell you this. This person is single now. Scorpio, this could be you. And you're seeing someone that's facing Ten of Cups here. Someone's choosing Two of Pentacles. And this is a tower for you. Now, this could also be you, Scorpio, that's choosing to move, move on with someone else. Or you're choosing another masculine. Okay. Someone thought they were going to have victory with you, but they found out you're having victory with someone else. Someone's dreaming of you. Someone's having dreams of you, Scorpio. Okay, that's weird. Okay, so anyway, back to your spiritual hearing, though. Um, let's talk about more of that, a spirit. Thank you. more of this spiritual hearing okay i also feel like you may hear something from a divine partner like an a past divine partner a divine masculine this divine mat i'm drawn to this this divine masculine with the emperor here the knight of cups this person's they are extremely i get remorseful off this five of cups they miss you Someone's holding on to the thought of you. I get a nostalgia energy. Just be careful. Continue to discern. But I feel someone's like gonna like, I don't know if they're gonna upload, uh, not upload, but they're gonna like, they're gonna try to love bomb you or emotionally vomit on you. <laughs> I don't know. It's something like that. I don't know. Six of swords. Ace of swords. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Cups. I feel like someone um, else, like you're moving away from this energy where someone was trying to like do something behind, something shady. I got shady. The word shady. They said shady. But your ancestors called them out. Maybe that's what you're going to find out about. You're going to find out about who, who was doing something shady to you. Okay, Scorpio. Um, I would advise that you observe, but don't absorb. Whatever this information is, like, okay, thanks for the apology, but um, I wouldn't connect. There's not a connect. You need to stay. Someone needs to stay in solitude. Okay? Stay in solitude. In solitude, Six of Swords, Ace of Swords, you have your peace. But there's also Seven of Swords. Somebody's going to tell you about some lies or some deceit, a plot or a plan to deceive you or someone else. Someone's going to have car problems. 
This person could already be having car problems. There's an Aries very significant in this reading, Scorpio. Um, I'm also getting the source is about to give you an entrepreneurial. I'm hearing experience. Um, what I wanted to say was an idea. Your reading is extra long, Scorpio. But I'm getting that like source wanted to give you this wants to give you this idea because of some type of hardship that you experience. It's like he's about to bless you. He's stepping in on your behalf. It's been your reading, Scorpio. Be sure to quench your thirst. Have a good day.